What's going on, guys? Mike back for another series or episode in our Legends series. I do apologize. Um, this one is coming out on the 19th of March, and I missed March 12th. Uh, I had a bunch in queue ready to go. Like I said, I filmed a bunch of these in time, and for some reason I had one set. I thought I had one set for last Saturday. Apparently I did not, so I apologize. Not many of you um, watch them, and that's okay. It's not for everybody. However, for those who do, I apologize. So, let's get back at it. Today we are going to talk about... I'm going to go off the board, um, just because I think this player is a very interesting player. A non-Hall of Famer, and I picked this up in a deal... See, 65 uh, tall boys of Mr. Eddie Shack autographed here. And the reason I wanted to talk about Eddie Shack is not great accomplishments, but as far as personalities go, sorry, I'm just going to uh, adjust that. Definitely a legend. Um, so let's talk about Eddie Shack. Uh, born in Sudbury, Ontario in 1937. Um, nickname was The Nose, but more famously, he was known as The Entertainer. Um, played in the NHL from 1959 to 1975, uh, played for six different teams, and but spent more than half of his time with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, you know, growing up, he played junior hockey for the Guelph Biltmores. His first year was 1952. Uh, and he played five seasons for them. So you imagine he played when he was 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And then uh, signed with the New York Rangers, his first professional contract. Um, and the first year he played in the minors, he actually played for uh, the Providence Reds of the AHL. But in 1958, he did make his NHL debut uh, with the New York Rangers and played... Um, about 130 games, uh, no, sorry, about 140 for the Rangers before being dealt to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, while with Toronto, he's seen his most success. And again, guys, his numbers don't pop off by any means, but this guy was just a character on the ice. Um, he, he did win four Stanley Cups, I believe. Yeah, 62, 63, 64, and 67. And uh, on the 1963, uh, he got the winning goal uh, in the Stanley Cup Finals. And But he famously claimed that uh, the puck deflected off him, but that was only because he was trying to get out of the way of, of a shot that uh, apparently hit him and went in and eventually became the, the game winner. Uh, he did play in three All-Star games in 1962, 63, and 64. Um, after Toronto, he was dealt and played two seasons with the Bruins, 67 through to 69. They then dealt him to the Los Angeles Kings for two years. Then he went to Buffalo for two. Then he went to Pittsburgh for one. And, uh, no, sorry, Pittsburgh for two. And then alternate, ultimately ended up back with the Toronto Maple Leafs um, and played his final season in the 74-75 season. Uh, after that, he played two sparingly, two sparing seasons, um, one with the Oklahoma City Blazers of the Central Hockey League and one in the Ontario Senior League in 1976-77 with the Whitby Warriors. Um not a lot to talk about as far as stats, guys. He did play 1,047 games, which is a huge accomplishment in the NHL. Um, only amassed 465 points, 239 of those were goals. and But he did amass uh, 1,437 um, penalty minutes. So when you're playing, you know, better that more like a minute and a half average in the penalty box, you knew what kind of character you're dealing with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, there's a couple of things I'm going to try and link to this. Um, he was very popular in these areas where I live. 
he as a as a spokesperson uh, after his playing career there was a soda company that um kind of rose to fame in the 70s in Canada called the Pop Shop and uh he was like their spokesperson and he also did stuff for Chic Razors and a bunch of uh, a bunch of donut uh, stores bearing his name. Um, I actually attended the. I was at the last donut shop in his name in Caledon, Ontario, probably about ten years ago. I thought I'm just going to go in, and uh, <laughs> you could tell business was not booming. So uh, he was nowhere to be found. But I thought I'd just stop in. Uh, sadly, Eddie Shack died in uh 2020 due to throat cancer and uh he was 83 years old and um survived by his two children and his wife uh Norma who they were married for 58 years so um not a great career but a definitely entertaining career thanks for tuning in guys